what is the process of building a house? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna give you the step-by-step -step guide for building a house. Why? Because in my 15 plus years of selling nearly 500 new construction homes, I found that a lot of people become frustrated because they don't understand the home build process. Hi, I'm Ty the Real Estate Guy, and if you'd like to stay up to date on the latest real estate tips and trends, subscribe to my channel below and ring the bell to be notified each time I post new videos. If you have questions about buying, selling, or building a home in Utah, I would love to talk with you. Please feel free to type a message below or you're welcome to contact me directly. Also, you wanna to watch to the end where I'll make some recommendations to simplify the process of building a home. Before we head out, I'd like to remind you that the home build process can vary by weeks and even months depending on the builder, delays from the city, weather, or more commonly shortages in labor, materials, and etc. I should also clarify that not everything in the home build process needs to be in a specific order. For instance, the exterior of the home can start soon after framing is done, but it's often started weeks later, sometimes not finishing until right before the home is completed. Each builder has their own timing for things, and sometimes a certain trade might be delayed. But for the most part, this guide will be accurate. Okay, let's go. Okay, so here's the step-by-step -step process for building a house. Step number one, the excavator will mark the home site so they know where to dig, like you can see here behind me. Step number two, they'll break ground, digging the hole for the house. In this case, the hole is pretty deep because this home will have a basement. Step number three, they'll pour the concrete footings. Number four, the foundation walls are poured like you'll see behind me. Concrete needs about 10 days to cure or harden before they start framing, but there's a lot that can be done while we wait. Number five, the sub rough sewer and main water lines will be run from the street all the way underneath the foundation wall. Number six, the window wells will be bolted around the basement windows. Number seven, damp proof tar will be applied to the exterior foundation walls. Okay, so now I'm inside the foundation of the house and number eight, the water and sewer lines will be run to the locations where the kitchens, bathrooms, and etc. will be placed. Number nine, the excavators will backfill or push the dirt back in around the foundation wall and they'll compact the soil. Number 10, they'll pull the concrete basement floor and the garage floor like you see here behind me. Also, you can't really see it, but step number 11, they'll usually run the gas line from the street up to the house. Number 12, the framing begins. The time needed to frame will vary depending on the size of the house and the number of framers assigned to the home. The framer should be able to complete an average size house in 10 to 14 days. Number 13, the main electrical panel for the home is installed on the exterior. Number 14, if you can see here behind me, the roofing is installed. Number 15, the four-way process begins. This part of the process will also take 10 to 14 days as several different trades begin work on the home. At this time, your plumbing, you can see the electrical, and all of your HVAC, like you can see right back here, will be done. Number 16, when all this work has been completed, the home will receive an inspection from the city to confirm that the work has been done to code. Number 17, the insulation is hung. The city inspector will return to confirm that the insulation is to code. A lot of builders will schedule a meeting with you just before the insulation is installed so you can confirm that everything has been done correctly and so you can ask any questions. Can I ask a quick favor? Will you please give me a thumbs up to support my channel? I would appreciate it more than you know and the thumbs up will help others see that this video is helpful. Thanks. Okay, let's keep going. Number 18, on the exterior of the home, they'll start on the soffit, fascia, you can see stucco or siding, and any of the brick or stonework like you see right here. Number 19, the tub and shower surrounds will be installed. Number 20, the sheetrock, also known as drywall, is hung, and then the mud, tape and texture the walls. Number 21, the finished workers will come into the home and install the baseboards 
and the door casing, like you see here behind me, they'll also install any shelving like you see here in the closet. Number 22, things like a fireplace, exterior doors, and windows will be installed. Number 23, it's time to paint. They'll cover things that should be painted like windows or sliding glass doors and do their thing. Usually, the doors and handrails will be painted separately and then hung after everything has been painted. Number 24, outside work begins on decks, concrete patios, walkways, the porch, and the steps up to the porch. A lot of builders will wait until this time to pour the driveway as well. Number 25, the large exterior garage doors will be installed. Number 26, vinyl or tile floors are laid. Number 27, cabinets are installed in both the kitchen and the bathrooms. Number 28, laminate or wood floors are installed. At this stage, there are a lot of different trades in the home and much of the work doesn't have to be completed in a specific order. As a matter of fact, you'll often have three or four different trades in the home all at the same time. The order of things being completed generally goes as follows. Number 29, the electrician will come back to add fixtures. This would be things like pendant lights, fans, and things of that nature. Number 30, the final HVAC will be done. Might be adding things like vent covers. Number 31, if you've added knobs or poles for your cabinets, they'll be installed. Number 32, all of your carpet is installed. Number 33, countertops are placed in the kitchen and in the bathrooms. Number 34, your bathroom mirrors and your shower doors are installed. Number 35, finished plumbing will also be completed, including installation of plumbing fixtures. Number 36, appliances will be installed. Just so you know, builders usually include a dishwasher, a microwave, and a stove with the purchase of your home. By now, all major items should be completed. Number 37, the superintendent, AKA the construction manager, will do a quality walk, making a punch list of all the items that still need to be completed. This usually includes blue tape to mark any locations that need paint touch up. The house will also get a quick cleaning. Number 38, the homeowner orientation, AKA the final walkthrough for the buyer. At this appointment, the builder's representative will show you how to work your home and you'll be able to point out any work that hasn't been completed. Most builders require five to seven days to complete these final items. Number 39, the home will receive a final cleaning and most builders will schedule a final homeowner walkthrough to confirm the final touch-ups and repairs have been completed. Number 40, you can now close on the home. Usually you'll head to a title company and sign your closing documents. Once the home is funded and recorded with the city, you'll receive the keys to your home. Congratulations. So this is just a quick video on the home build process. I have a different video called the most in-depth video on how a house is built. If you want to take a deeper look, I'll put a link to that video below. You should also know that many builders will offer spec homes, also known as quick move-in homes. Builders know the most popular floor plans and structural options in each location that they build. So it's highly probable that they'll already have something that you will love that's under construction. This can save you weeks, if not months of the home build process. For most people, this is a good thing, especially because the builder will often allow you to make the interior selections. If this sounds like something you might prefer, I just produced a video on building versus buying a spec home. I'll put a link to this video below as well. Just so you know, I spent hours upon hours, really years now, creating dozens of videos to guide you all the way through the home build process. As promised, here's my list of recommended videos. 10 questions you should ask home builders. How to choose the best home site. How to save money when buying a new construction home. The new home construction final walkthrough the most in-depth guide for buying a new construction home. If you're planning to move to Utah or you already live here and you're looking to buy, sell, or build a home, I would love to talk with you. Please feel free to contact me directly. If there's something in this video that stood out to you as being helpful, or if you have questions, please comment below. Sincerely, 
I want to hear from you. If you know someone who's thinking about building a home or moving to Utah, please share this video with them. And please, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell to be notified each time I post new videos. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Ty, the real estate guy. If you found this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to ring that little bell below. It'll make you feel good.